Have you ever wondered why India, particularly southern India, is often referred to as a subcontinent? What makes it so unique? The answer lies in its distinct geography and an intricate network of rivers. Southern India, a peninsular region defined by the Arabian Sea to the west, the Bay of Bengal to the east, and the Indian Ocean to the south, is a treasure trove of geographical wonders. It's a region where high mountain ranges kiss the sky, where expansive coastal plains stretch as far as the eye can see, and where dense forests house a myriad of life forms. First, we must talk about the Western and Eastern Ghats, two mountain ranges that run parallel to the coasts. The Western Ghats, also known as the Sahyadris, are older than the Himalayas and are recognized as one of the world's eight hottest hotspots of biological diversity. The Eastern Ghats, on the other hand, though fragmented and less continuous, are home to a wide variety of flora and fauna. Between these two ranges lies the Deccan Plateau, a vast volcanic basalt bed extending over 800,000 square kilometers. It's not just a barren land, the Deccan Plateau is rich in minerals and has fertile black soil ideal for cotton cultivation. Now, let's turn our attention to the veins of southern India, its rivers. There are two types of rivers in this region, the west-flowing and the east-flowing. The west-flowing rivers, like the Periyar and Bharatha Puja, are fast-moving, owing to the steep gradient of the western Ghats. They are shorter, swifter and less prone to flooding. On the other hand, the east-flowing rivers like the Kaveri, Krishna and Godavari are longer, flow slowly, and are prone to flooding. They form extensive deltas at their mouths, creating fertile lands that contribute significantly to the agricultural output of the region. These rivers are more than just water bodies. They are lifelines, providing water for drinking, irrigation and power generation. They are also cultural symbols, playing pivotal roles in the mythology, history and everyday life of the people of southern India. So, to sum up, southern India, with its unique geographical features like the Western and Eastern Ghats, the Deccan Plateau, and a complex network of rivers, is a geographical marvel. Its rivers, both east-flowing and west-flowing, are not just physical features but lifelines that sustain and nurture life and culture in the region. Understanding the geography and rivers of southern India isn't just about knowing the physical layout of the land, it's about understanding the interplay between the land, the water, and the people. It's about appreciating the rich diversity and complexity that makes this region truly a subcontinent within a subcontinent.